Brent is tying up one of his most productive leech patterns for us today. He has combined the Ruby I from Brian Chan's fly that has been proven for many years. This fly incorporates Brent's new Ultimate Series body and the profile and colors are the perfect combination. Be prepared to catch your largest fish on the fly shown here. Let's get the materials ready for the fly. The fly is tied on a streamer hook in sizes 8s and 10s. There is a medium-sized black cone head with a ruby glass line bead behind it and 12 turns of 0 .020 lead wire. The thread is 6 aught black. The underbody is black holographic tinsel. The tail and body is a UV2 CLX from Spirit River wound on a dubbing brush with brassy wire. Let's go to the bench with Brent. Well, good day. And here on the segment of uh, on the bench today, we're going to be tying you up a uh, ruby eyed ultimate leech, just a hybrid between uh, Chan's ruby eyed leech through the bead in behind the cone. It works really nice and uh, it's been working well over the years for many anglers. And I've put my ultimate leech pattern in behind that. So let's get a hook in the vise and tie one up. I'm going to be using a size 8. This is a streamer hook. Um, put a black bead or cone head on the front and a little glass ruby eyed uh, glass line bead and behind it 12 turns or so of O2 lead wire. Make sure I get a bit of a dam going or in behind that lead so I got a good transition for the um, body material. The tail, I'll just grab a little pinch of this UV2 Celex, tie that in. There's a very thinly dressed um, fly. I'll put in two strands of this Magnum black flashaboo. Makes a great underbody. Drop that forward. The main, uh, I'd say a big mistake we all make tying leech patterns is we get them too thick. Leeches are very slender, as you know. And so many leech patterns, you just got way too much material on them. So try half as much as you usually use, and you're probably about right. It's kind of like tying streamers. It's always so easy to overdress them, and it takes a while to kind of get on it. You just, it feels like you're not putting enough on them, but... Less is better. Okay, now I'll take this UV2 CLX. I pull it on my fingers. I'm using my dubbing table here now. I got the thread down, then I'll put the wire over top for a dubbing brush. If you don't have a Norvice like this, for example, uh, you can buy a dubbing block. You can build a dubbing block. They're they're very inexpensive. But make sure this is coming out nice and sparse. A little bit there. That's a plenty. And uh, I think I got a little piece of something on that one. Yeah, a little bit of or I don't know what it is. I'll put a little, just a little dab on there. But this uh, UV2 Celex is a really nice blend. Got all kinds of colors in it. I'm going to do some brown. I'll do the olive brown with copper bead. I'll do some olives. Uh pretty much looks after. Then I'll get myself a nice uh, brush job here with this heavy nylon brush. That's hard. I don't have you quite back far enough to see, but it's very, very sparse. Now I'll just take that wire and I'm going to run along the body to the rear. And what that does is reinforces that body. It's absolutely bulletproof. I'll pull this back as a hackle as I go, and we're given a fairly wide turn, so I'm not, this is very thinly dressed, you'll think, what the heck, but once you get it done, just make sure it's thin, can't express that enough, and tie that off right there. And I'll just tie it off right here, do my whip finish behind the glass bead. Put some head cement on that. You can get a vodka needle in there if you like. Make sure everything's picked out. But it's really, really sparse. And then I'll comb it back. And that is a great 
Look at the effect of that. And I'll put a little bend in it. That weed, it's going to kind of, it'll travel in the water probably like so. You get a nice little undulation. Um, the weight's coming back here. It's not going to dive like a jig. I want a nice undulating movement. I've got them kind of tuned up the way I like for weight. So there you go. It's Ruby Eyed Ultimate Leech. You get that one out in your local waters and make sure you got some good leech patterns, especially at nighttime. These uh, big trout will be up looking and uh, leeches really, really work well at late, late in the uh, day or the evening or cloudy days or whatever. But any, most water bodies, a leech will work great. And it's a, such an excellent searching pattern. Probably one of my top performers is... Uh, I've caught well, most of my big fish on, on leeches, I would say, in lakes, anyway. And you can fish this on rivers, too. It works great. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again real soon. We hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and get the opportunity to fish this awesome leech pattern. We thank Brent for sharing his favorite flies with us. Nice to have you visit us again. Make sure to check our online store for exclusive flies and clothing from Sport Fishing on the Fly. There is also 25 years of TV episodes to watch at your leisure. Also several pro team segments with fly fishing tips and techniques for many species and situations. Take care and conserve our waters.